everyone and welcome to my channel and um, for those that have never been to my channel before my name is Victoria DL I'm um, a senior DT girl and today I want to bring to you the arabesque gift bag and it's a beautiful little bag well I say little it's not so little it's not huge and it's not tiny but it, I think it's the perfect size so here's the die set in front of me you have one main die here and you'll need to cut this out twice to make one bag there's different things that you could do with it you could make um well i'm going to show you something that i've made but you can make other things with it you can decorate cards with it this would be perfect on a long dl card top and bottom you put a sentiment across your join to hide the join um, you could actually do these back to back or four round a card and again put something across the centre. So you have different uh, patterns uh, within the set. So you have this gorgeous pattern here. Um, so that obviously decorates the bag in this pattern. We also have this gorgeous pattern here which also has a side panel. And then we have this like a Moroccan um, style decorative die. We've also got some further dies on the opposite side so I'll show you those. So again you've got that Moroccan style there and the edge strip for the bottom. You also have this hanger for uh, several different sentiments there. There's a deboss sentiment and then there's some cutout sentiments. You also have a little hanger with a lock so you can have like a little key lock there. This is to uh, strengthen the tabs where it attaches at the top and then you get an additional hanger as well if you want to use that so that's the die set pretty uh oh and before i forget the feather and i think this will get used on cards and other boxes because this is a beautiful feather when it's cut out so you've got that as well so those are your die sets I'm going to put that to one side because I've cut everything out ready. Um, but I just want to show you this one. This is a double. And I've cut the panels out here in vellum. And I've cut the side panels here in vellum. And you can see there's your decorative strip for the bottom. Now that's what one would look like on its own. Just one bag. But I've joined the two together and just added some foam roses I had in my stash. But it's on a hanger. It's going to be very hard for me to show you on video. But it's on a little hanger there. And then the bottom here, there's a little tassel. Okay. I will share some pictures on uh, my Facebook page if you want to follow me over there. Um, so you can take a, a closer look of it hanging. Um but basically, all I've done is I have cut a circular hole um, with your basic circular dies in the base of both. And then I've shredded, um, shredded, threaded uh, a string of wired lights through so they connect to both boxes. Uh, and I just thought that was a little bit something different. Um, but like I said, don't think of these just as one. Think of these as two. You might be able to join more together if you have a play. Um, definitely use the panels for your card making. I think Jodie said on the show that you could actually make a shoe with this part of the decorative panel. So that would be interesting because we have had a shoe die. So maybe you could incorporate that with that. So that's what we've done for that one. I'm going to put that to one side now and we're going to make a normal bag. So as you can see, I have all my panels already cut and I've picked this gorgeous swirly pattern. So we've got two of those. We have two of these. Two of the smaller ones. We've cut some cream feathers and I've gone with this theme because we're going to add something to the box. So then we've got this lovely little hanger here. And then we've got two of these. So I've just got to glue this one. And we have two of the base 
um, cut out. I'm just going to bring you a little bit higher up because I think we're a bit close there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back of this panel here. And I'm going to use my deluxe adhesive. So just add a little, turn a little bit here and there. Just barely touching the card. There we go. And then I'm going to place that on its backing plate there. There we go. So I hope you're all well. It's been a little while. I had made um, three videos, but they were made direct for tonic, so they didn't actually go on my YouTube channel. So I have been here in the background, um, but there's plenty more to come, so don't worry. Um, this is one of many. So we have that panel now glued together. So where you have um, the base of your box, you want to hold where it's joined to give it stability. Then with your bone folder, you want to shape it. Ever so slightly, just shape it. I'm saying hold it at the score line because if you pull too hard, you're going to tear your card. So that's all I want you to do. Hold it at the score line and then gently manipulate and break the fibres of the card stuck up to give you that shape. We're actually going to bow this part out as well because we need this to be quite of a wide box when we're finished with it. And you'll see for why. So again, we're going to repeat the process on the second piece. Okay, so just breaking those fibres up just to give it a little bit of dimension and shape. And this is the perfect tool to do it with. This is our scorer and I'd be lost without it. So again, the last panel there. Just ever so slightly breaking those fibres. And then we want to place some adhesive on the underside of one. Okay. And then we want to place this directly over its friend. And then you want to make sure that these all come up, that you've not glued over the score line. And then just let that grab. There we go. Pressing down. And then what we want to do is we want to decorate. I think Jodie called these Teletubbies because I can see where she came from now. It does have a Teletubby-ish face. So we're going to bring that forward. And we're just going to give this a little bit of shape just to help it with its friend and we're going to put some adhesive on the back here it's important that you do this bit now because you'll end up all in different order and once these side panels are glued in you, it's very hard to get to this panel so we want to press firmly on there and we can always flip him over and press against the desk so we have something to press against okay so again i'm going to give this one some shape just ever so slightly it just breaks all those fibers up and again we're going to add some adhesive down to the back there and we're going to put that in place Again, just line him up. There we go. And we can add these side pieces as well. So break these up. And again, if you prefer to use tape, you use your tape. As everybody that is familiar with my channel, I always use wet adhesive. It just has that longevity, keeps everything where it should be. 
and it's actually easier to get that little bit of wiggle time before everything is set and dried once you go down with tape sometimes that's it once it's down it's down so again some wet adhesive on there and we'll put that down Now at this point you can add the extra, um, you can cut extra ones of these to strengthen this part of the bag. But as in normal fashion, I forgot to cut those out. So we'll just pretend we've already put them on. And then at this point you can place these parts on as well. So we're going to put this on here it's a very very simple bag to put together guys it really is it looks more complicated than it actually is it's one of those boxes or gift bags um but i suppose the fun is in decoration paper piecing if you want to paper piece color if you want to color and um, the choice is really up to you for the show I did some paper piecing and some colouring with pens. Use your beautiful, gorgeous Stamperia papers or your favourite papers, a tonic papers, whatever is your favourite thing to do. So that's all dry now. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Teletubby, okay, as, as our Jodie has, uh, has named it. And then you'll see that this comes over. All right, this piece goes behind and it's easy to line up because the top straight edge here goes underneath this little tab. So you'll know when you've got it in the right place and you'll need to put adhesive underneath this tab here and then bring it to the curve and then hold it until it's dry. So what I tend to do is put a little bit of adhesive on this corner and then I'll put a little bit of adhesive on this part here, okay? And then we bring that in. And like I said before, you bring that top edge in and you bring that edge in there. And when you see you've got a nice curved edge, that's where you're going to hold it until it's grabbed. Okay. And then when you know that's firmly in its place, you're going to push that little tab through the hole and then it pushes down. You just push it down into that little hole. So we want to put some adhesive on the underside of that tab and then want to push it down and hold it in place until it's dried. Okay. Then we're going to repeat the process for the other side of the bag. Okay, so like we did before, we push Teletubby in and we bring this across and I'm going to place some adhesive on this bottom corner again. And then I'm going to place some adhesive on this top part here. Doesn't need much. And then we'll bring that in Bring that in. Oh, got Mr. Teletubby's head stuck in the way. There we go. Under the line, bring him across. There we go. Got him in the wrong place then. There we go. And then bring that tab down as we did before. I'm going to put some adhesive underneath the underside of that tab. I'm going to bring him through. And I'm going to push him down. And then we've come unhinged. So Vicky's not waited long enough for that to dry. There we go. 
that's because I'm getting too gung ho. Too gung ho. There we go. Just wait till your adhesive's dried, guys. I'm getting a bit. ahead of myself and put the little tab in press it down and hold it in place and then we have our decorative panels so I'm just going to curve those with my fingers and then Add some adhesive to the back. And then we're going to place this on the front of the bag. Just like that. And then just hold it in place until you know that glue has grabbed. Glue on my fingers now. There we go. So just hold that till you know it's grabbed. Wipe any extra glue away as you see it. It will dry clear, but you will see a little bit of it if you don't remove it quickly. So we just hold these bottom pieces in. It's because you've got a natural curve on the bag. And the card naturally wants to pull away from the, the curve. So you do have to wait until the glue's dried. There we go. And then we're just going to pinch that at the top. It's a gorgeous bag. I would imagine you'll get quite a few cream eggs in there. And that's all we're thinking about now, isn't it, with Easter approaching? How many... How many eggs can we fit in? But this is a bag that could be used for all occasions. Could be a favour bag for a wedding. It could be a little christening bag. Could have little baby's booties in it. Could be decorated in um, baby paper. A birthday gift. Valentine gift. Any type of gift. Little get well gift. Thinking of you gift. Something that you've just put together for a neighbour. There we go. So we'll just hold that till it's grabbed again. And then I'm hoping that the something I've bought to go in it will fit. But we'll see. We'll try it together. So... nearly there and this is why I've curved the sides as well because I want it to be curved outwards as well as the sides all right so I think we're dry double check right so as you'll see the sides will lift up all right so I'm going to see if our favourite friend, our Mr Terry's Orange, will fit inside the bag. So, without further ado, blimey that's heavy. Put Mr Terry inside here. I'm hoping he will fit. Right, so we're going to bring those in. You might have to tease your cardstock a little. And bring him down. I think we might have to shape those sides a little bit more. They're a bit too rigid. So we'll take Mr. Orange out and we'll just manipulate these sides a little bit more to give them a curve. All right. And we'll do the same on this side. I think we'll have to really shape these sides just to be a little bit more bulbous. 
Right, let's try him again. Because uh, our Jodie did get a tennis ball in there. And that's just as big as a tennis ball. A wee bit heavier, granted. Right. Bring that down. And yours will be reinforced across this top, unlike mine. So, I would say, with more shaping, that yes, a Terry's orange will fit in that bag. No problem at all. So, when you're constructing it, just shape those sides a little bit more and you'll you'll fit a terry's orange in there no problem whatsoever so for demonstrating purposes we'll just stick this together i just wanted to see if one would fit in because uh it is a sub substantial but it look it's bigger than it actually looks to be fair so there is your bag mr terry will fit in um and then we've got some ribbon here so I'm just going to get a length of ribbon and then I'm going to add these lovely feathers I'll just add some ribbon through there And then we've got this lovely little All Things Nice. So we're just going to add that to the tag. And then add that to there. And then we can either add that as well underneath. I might do that actually. I was going to put foam pads on it, but we'll add it all together and then. Let's do that then. Let's go under that one. Oh, should we go on that one? Make your mind up, Vicky. This is the worst thing, you know. I know exactly what I want to do, but then when I come to it, it's like, oh, well, if you did that, am I alone in that or are we all the same? Right. So I'll add those. And I think we'll tie that off. All fingers and thumbses. There we go. So they can sit like that. You could actually glue. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to glue that just down the edge. So that they don't cross over. And then I'm just going to add these to the handle. You could thread them on the handle so that it doesn't affect the opening and the closing of the box. But we won't be opening in it again, so I'm just going to tie it to the handle. Do you know it's so cold in the craft room? I can't feel my fingers. That's the trouble. It's uh, really cold in Cheshire at the minute. There we go. So we'll just trim them off a little bit. There we go. And have a tidy up. So that is your beautiful little bag. Um. Like I said before, you can paper piece all these panels if you want to. If you cut the panels out in black, place them on white, then you can go with the alcohol pens and you can colour in the pattern if you wish to. 
we've demonstrated that if you curve the sides a little bit more you will definitely get a terry's orange inside that bag um, but they're quite weighty um, I haven't bought one of these for years and I didn't realise how heavy they are but they are very heavy but it will fit in there um, you've just got to really curve the sides and curve the other sides as well make them a little bit more bulbous but guys that is your gorgeous bag and like I said you can make your little lanterns um, and obviously you can glue the tab shut at the bottom if you wanted to I've just left it as it is because there's nothing else in there other than lights then I've threaded the uh, tassel at the bottom um, but you could decorate this in your favourite flowers foliage, ivy, anything you want to um, but that just gives you uh, an idea of, of what you can create with this gorgeous bag so uh, it should be available from Tonic in two weeks' time um, if all the stock's gone on Create and Craft. Uh, other than that, you can head on over to Create and Craft where you can still purchase it if it's still in stock. Um, but like I said, two weeks' time, it will be available direct from Tonic. Um, so I'd just like to say, without further ado, thank you very much for joining me today. It's a pleasure as always to have your company and uh, happy crafting. Mm -hmm. 